Hello again, third grade. We're going to be doing the painting part of uh, our fish, only the fish today. So um, if you guys can see on my phone here, I was looking up some pictures of different colors for koi fish. So um, generally I use black, white, which is nothing, of course, yellow, and orange, okay? And maybe a little bit of red if you want to make it more reddish orange. Um, I'm just going to kind of scroll through here. We're not doing the rainbow koi fish. However, you're not in art class right now. So if you'd prefer that, I guess it's okay. But we are going to be doing a pretty watercolor background later. So you might not want to use too many colors. The koi fish colors are really pretty. Um, so yellow, orange, or orangish red, black, and white. Those are the kind of colors we're going to stick with, okay? But like I said, I'm not going to be um, telling you you can't do other colors. I would just not. Okay, so these are the color choices. Now we're going to get to work on the koi fish. So what I'm going to do is pretend, first of all, that this has been whited out. I shouldn't have done that little circle there either. Okay, so I would have whited both of those spots out. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with I don't know, some yellow, because yellow is the lightest color, okay? So, what do I want to put yellow? Hmm. Paint some of this body with some yellow spots. And you can actually line it up with the fins if you want. Or the scales, I'm sorry. Line it up with the scales if you want. Um, if you want part of this fin to be yellow and I do like the white fins on the koi fish also I think they're really pretty but that's kind of up to you how you do that maybe some yellow over here you can always go back and add more but you can't take the color off once you um, have it on there so don't get too crazy with it until you know for sure it's what you want Okay, maybe a little yellow there. Now I'm going to switch to orange. Okay, so that's kind of pretty on there, isn't it? Maybe put some orange mm, over on this side. If I line it up with that yellow, it might look kind of cool. Oh, look what happened. I got too close to the yellow, and then it's starting to bleed into the, the other one. Trying to watch out for that fin. Okay, and then let's say I wanted to make my orange a little more reddish. You don't want a ton of red, but a little bit of reddish. Mix in with your orange. So that looks a little bit more reddish. You don't want it to look pink. You might have to go over it again with the orange if it looks pink. Oops. Try to stay in your lines. I'm going to use more water if it starts looking scratchy. Mm, let's see here. we got to get a little more color in here. And we're going to go in with the black. Let's see. There we go. I think I need a little more orange on the face. I don't like how I just stopped that. Maybe 
keep the whites of the eye alone. Now if you want it to look more smooth, you want to add water before you paint it really. Right? Because then it blends a little bit better. Okay, let's see. Maybe a little bit on the tail. Um, and you can do this however you want. I'm just doing something I thought, thought of. Anywhere else? Let's see. And then we're ready for black. You don't want to go nuts with the black, okay? Otherwise, you're going to end up with a black koi fish. Of course. Hopefully that dries a little more see-through so you can see the scales I worked so hard on. Right? You kind of see them, I guess. Now, some of your colored spots can touch. Each other. Boy, that black goes a long ways. It really covers it up, so we got to be kind of careful. Not to use very much. I'm kind of spreading it out as I go. There. How's that? A little koi fish? I like the white fin on top, but I feel like it's too white. Maybe if I add just a little bit of orange in there. a little better. A little orange over here maybe. Okay, so that is how you color your koi fish and next week we're going to start the background. Okay, so this week finish your koi fish and next week we will do the background, right? We're good? I hope you guys get outside and enjoy a lot of nice weather this week. I miss all of you a lot. Talk to you later.